stop cursing when it's time. Right now, it's not time. <laughs> oh Lord, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Today has been a magical day. Uh, hallelujah. Okay, affirming that all real niggas is on the live right now. Okay, affirming that y'all gonna reach y'all goals. Ain't no goals. You gonna reach what you trying to trying to climb to. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yes. Affirming that it's a, been a rich day, a happy day, an amazing day. You heard me. This is so exciting. Yay. I'm clearly a stalker. That's fine. No problem. Okay? <laughs> I stalk my nigga. <laughs> Just, you know, if I catch you in my lawn, then we're going to have a problem. This. Okay? <laughs> but other than that, hey, this free game to be a stalker. I have other stalkers. So it's okay. Hey, hi. I'm sorry. I know I've been super classy, okay? But I didn't expect this to fit like this. And the dress was just so gorgeous that I was like, oh, I'm going to have to just uh, little boobs today. So I do apologize about the unclassy cleavage, okay? <laughs> I am still on my classy journey. It's just, I'm not used to these breastfeeding jugs. They never been this big in my life. You know, I'm trying here. The rest of me is a medium. The titties is a large, an extra large. I don't know how to do that. So, how are Tata? They're not a classy, but you know, the new classy me wants this much cleavage right here. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not classy. The new I could have just went right here. The classy, you know, like that. Represent my evil eye purse. I had to make a um. I purchased today. Had to make sure nobody was hating on me. Had to put my money. And listen, y'all are so disconnected. If anything, put your money where a nigga not hating on me. Okay? Is you understanding me? Is you understanding me? Straight up. Like that. Got my teas and butters. Okay. So, I'm going to try to wait for everybody to get on here before I go where I go. But I got to go. I got to tell some things of some things, right? So, I'm so excited. I see a few people after the live because that's, well, I'm excited because I've been completely raw for four days because I am just want to go back on my journey. You know, I got to mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually prepare for this October seminar, which is in less than two weeks. It is sold out. And we're going to teach people how to catch their own baby. Okay? We're going to teach people how to do, excuse me, forgive me, forgive me. I ain't teaching nobody nothing. We're going to be at a seminar for you to remember what you built for. You heard me? Okay. <laughs> so that's what the seminar is about. You're going to remember how to deliver your baby. You're going to remember how to push it out. You're going to remember how you can take the pain because you a real classy nigga, right? You're going to remember the things that you've forgotten to do because before hospitals were invented and all these old white men who just obsessed with opening our cats and saying, let me get your baby. This is the way that it was, okay? So all I'm gonna do is be re, you're gonna be remembering, relearning, ancestor energy in the house, but I gotta prepare. And I haven't been getting any sleep and I don't want y'all to think I'm out here doing cocaine because I'm looking all nasty, okay? <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, cleanse, cleanse, you heard me? So I'm so, so excited. It's going down, because it always, it's going up there, right? Yes, my nose is always itching. Poor connection, pause do to poor connection. Well, why is the Wi-Fi on when there's no Wi-Fi in the room? Oh, okay. It's, it had pause due to poor connection, but I'm pretty sure they hate on me. Right? When's the spiritual seminar? Is y'all ready for that? Is y'all ready for that? Like, bruh, I be wanting to, to share my... This, and this is gonna, this is gonna talk about it a little bit. This live is gonna get into a little bit of how we use magic, which we are magic. So when I say those words, don't run off and go get your Bible because if you open it up, there's magic in your Bible, okay? The staff turned into a snake. The, the Red Sea parted or whatever. See, I don't remember. They turned water into wine. Jesus walked on water. All of those things are magic, my nigga. So when we are talking about magic, close that ratchet ass door. Can you close the door? <laughs> when we talking about magic, it is nothing that you feel like you need to be burning in hell from. You don't feel like this is hell. You don't think that every time you have to pick up something and it's poison, this hell. You don't think that when you walk outside, there's no fucking fresh air because the chemtrails are dropping on us. You don't think that's hell. You, you, you see images in the clouds anymore. When I was growing the fuck up and I would look up, I would be like, oh, a dog. 
or a real nigga face. Now you see nothing. And no one wonders why. There's no images in the closets. almost as if they have a fume of something over the heavens to where the ancestors use it. Do y'all remember when the clouds had images? Mm -hmm. When you look up now, where have they went? They ain't there. It's almost as if these trans niggas got chemtrails blocking the power from the heavens. They could never block it, let's be clear. But you know, in a sense, cutting off certain things that we were, you know, exposed to and, and needed that type of energy, okay? You don't think that this is hell, that the money system, the matrix, all the things that we go through, suicide, depression, um, eat until we die, eat until we're fat, smoking because we're in grief, fucking ourselves up over emotions when that is the first energy. So that, listen, I read a long time ago, a person who doesn't have control over their emotions has control over nothing. And that told me what type of woman that I should be. A person who doesn't have control over their emotions has control over nothing. So when you upset and you want to go grab a cookie, when you can say, nah, I'm upset, I'm about to go take a walk outside. The strongest power within yourself is being able to heal yourself without an external, uh, what, drug, right? Because, I mean, I have so many people Oh, yeah, I can stop smoking when I want to. I'm the only nigga I know do it. I'm the only fucking person I know do it. You did it, Riri. Good for you. But, like, in my circle, they be like, I'm going to quit. When? I'm the only one who has been like, I'm, I'm chilling. And I real life chill. Everybody else, I'm going I'm to do it when I'm ready. I, you, but I could do it anytime. You've never done it. You a whole junkie, but you don't recognize that. And the only way that you see junkies is if people shoot needles in their motherfucking arm. But you don't understand that smoking all motherfucking day is the problem. You can't get shit done. Oh, yes, I do. I be cleaning the fuck out my house. You can't get your goals done, son. You been cleaning the fuck out that house that you been in for about 15 years, my nigga. What is the problem? Bye. I mean, see, see you later. <laughs> I ain't mean like that. You know, I'm on here. So... You don't have the same gumption. Oh, big word, you heard me. You don't have the same gumption that you do when you getting high all motherfucking day. Sorry, it is what it is. I've smoked for 11 years straight, okay? I already know what's happening. If you have to be depressed or you have to feel sad and you have to say, man, I'm going to get some liquor knowing that it's going to poison the insides of your body knowing that's going to destroy you. I'm not trying to call you weak, but it's a little weak, okay? It, it, and you not, this is why... Oh, they playing with me on IG, son. Let me connect to uh the, the guy, that, but it was already on. And but this this phone been doing that for a little second. Hold up, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell him go go to YouTube. All right, well, maybe it's the Wi-Fi. What, what's the problem? What's the problem? So, it's, 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 look, look at me now. Now I'm doing what, what people are doing. Is IG hating on me? It's getting a little too cold for them. Right, let me move this one over here. Hey, y'all can see me over here. Let me see. Okay, yeah. They, they, they got to be hating on me. I, I knew IG wasn't ready for this real shit. Okay, so, IG had paused for a second. If it keeps tripping, y'all just follow me to YouTube. It's the Goddess Collection with two S's. The only reason that it's one S on this page is because I couldn't get two S's because the bitch had already had it, okay? So it's the Goddess Collection and two S's on YouTube, Crystal Alkaline Doula. So if it's keep tripping, y'all just head over there. I'm out of Facebook Live until October 6th, okay? That's what it is. People don't like truth. That's hard to eat, man. That's hard to eat. All this shit is poisoning you. That's not hard to eat. The truth is hard to eat. Eating healthy after you didn't junk your body for fucking years is hard to do. I'm not going to call it hard, but it's a journey. And what I see a lot of people don't want to do is flex through that journey. They don't want to go through that journey. The biggest goals bitches have right now is BBLs and fucking Birkin bags. That's a motherfucking problem. The biggest flex that niggas have is hoes. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. So we're not moving in an energy of uh, the biggest flex is owning your own business. The biggest flex is is, is <laughs> black love. We, we ain't doing nothing of, of, of substance. You heard me? So anyway, I got on here. Okay, but I'm going to eat it. I got on here because I seen after my last live, y'all think that a nigga talking to y'all like I've been on this. Y'all think that a nigga talking to y'all, oh, she got money to do that. And, um, oh, girl, close her door. <laughs> she got money to do that and this and that and that. Man, let me holler at y'all. 
I know Facebook, they heard it a trillion times, but I'm about to let these niggas know where I come from. So one, no, no ma'am. Let me take my purse off. <laughs> okay. First of all, what happened is I was just like you. I born and raised in New Orleans as per the motherfucking accent that you can hear. I ate macaronis and red beans and fried motherfucking chicken and baked chicken. And thank God I had a mama good enough to not really be like, oh, we shouldn't be eating too much of that grease. So it was baked fish and all of that kind of shit. Grew up on cereals and milk and all of the same shit that y'all grew up on. So I don't even want to hear it. Rewind. So 20, fast forward to what? 20 or 21. I can't remember what it happened. So I'm always sick, always tired. Don't know what's wrong. Got a motherfucking hospital sheet. Biggest motherfucking a rap sheet of a, a huge criminal, not me. And so it wasn't just for what I'm about to tell you, but it had been a course of over maybe from 17 to about maybe 21. And I mean, stomach issues, BV, yeast infections, burrows on my pussy. Um, had to get my tonsils removed because I kept them bitches kept getting infected. Um, I didn't have to get them removed. Mind you, I didn't know no better at the present time, right? So my tonsils are removed because when you don't know, you can't. That that is what it is. They used to get mad infected, um, cavities in my teeth, mercury filling. I don't want to hear it. All kind of if it could go wrong, it went the fuck wrong. Straight like that. So around by about 2021, 20, I'm always sick. And when I'm talking about sick, I don't got no energy. My bones always aching. Something ain't right. Like something ain't right. I'm always in the bed. I'm 21 years old. I go through a time and process and I can't even play with destiny. That's a problem. So I'm going, they're studying me, they're studying me, right? But I thought you studied in school, son. But okay. So they run and test, they run and test, they don't know. So I'm doing my own research. So I used to get the little red thing, which you would call the butterfly rash. So I look it up. I'm like, man, I got this. I say, bitch, this is lupus. So I go in and I say, y'all need to test me for lupus. So they, they run a, a, a test for autoimmune disease. My ANA pops up, running for lupus, boom. So this is how it all started. I'm coming, I'm sorry. Okay, no, no, don't be mad. Everybody need me today, but I need me today. <laughs> Hold up one second. I'm, but Monday is going down. Don't trip. So, no, it is Monday. Yeah. All right, all right. Save the day. Pin it. Pin. All right. <laughs> Bye. No, no problem. Is yeast destroyed good for BV? The BV collection is. Let's focus. So, with that being said, I'm like, man, how the fuck I get this? Right? So, they're like, oh, it's environmental. Environmental, the only. Listen, I'm not. Okay, but environmental, I say, man, what the fuck is environmental? Trees, bitch, that's what I say. Because you, you, what? I don't understand that. So mind you, I'm not, no well, none of this. I'm not vegan. I'm the, I'm the candy lady. <laughs> I'm giving poison to the children. I'm hand sewing Gretel, AKA the candy lady. So let's run through that real quick. The candy lady actually poisons the children in the neighborhood. I'm sorry, anime. You heard me. Like, I, I really, really am. But at the end of the day, that's all you're doing. you poisoning the children. And you know better than Hansel and Gretel who was poisoning them. But instead of you eating them, the government's trying to eat them. But that's a whole other story. We're going to switch back. Okay. So, you, you, I can feed them if you need me to. No? Yeah? Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was the baby. My bad. Okay, bye. Yeah. Jesus, I'm never giving no live again when I got to tell bitches bye 70 times. <laughs> bye, everybody. <laughs> okay. So, I guess they say it's environmental. Bye, oh, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You the last bye. So I'm telling everyone holds bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, bye. No more that. Classy. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> so, so, with that being said, I start to do some research. Girl, it is playing with my connection on IG. I'm about to hang up on them hoes. Okay, I'm about to hang up on you hoes. Uh, they keep playing with the live. On here, and y'all just need to come to YouTube. I, I don't know what to say. So anyway, with that being said, I, I started doing some research. So when you growing up, you be like, okay, if you eat too much candy, like your teeth gonna fall out, right? Or you're gonna get cavity. That's what they tell you, eating cavity. And if you eat too much, you just gonna get fat. We had never fucking heard that if you eat such and such, that'll give you high blood pressure. I had never known that nigga. Did you know that? You eat too much of this, that could give you diabetes. You lose. So I'm like, wait, what? That shit hit me like an Amtrak train. Yeah, I was yeah. like, whoa, whoa, wait. The food is killing us? Like, that was my literal words. I'm like, whoa, wait. So the things we eat destroying us? So I'm like, no, no, son. <laughs> so here we go. 
I go in my house. I'm like, I'm telling everybody, we eat organic. Organic meat, organic dairy. I said, no candy. You know, we done with that. They're poisoning us, America. You know, you don't know. It's a whole new fucking world. You're like, oh my God, all of this time. We didn't know, right? So everything organic. But bitch, I'm on food stamps. Fuck with me, okay? So I don't want to hear none of that shit. I'm getting 368 for me and motherfucking destiny. Because they give you $4 a day per motherfucking person, okay? 368 I never fucking forget. And that wasn't what I was getting at first. So mind you. With my left food stamps, bitch, we going to get organics, okay? <laughs> we going to get the organic lettuce. We going to do all that. But yeah, mind you, little food stamps is running out. So I have to start collecting trash. Man, y'all don't want to fuck with me. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, if that, the dog, that's why I don't got no respect for y'all. Let, let, let me focus. Let me focus. Let me focus. So I'm going to go back to that. So I'm going through the organic, switching stickers. Sorry. <laughs> Organic and for conventional, the conventional a little cheaper, bitch. Okay, <laughs> busted. I passed the law. Prove it. Unless you learn, unless you learn, I'm just entertaining. None of this is the real. Changing the stickers. That's what somebody told me they was doing. Yes, ma'am. Okay, bye. See ya. Right. <laughs> surviving. Okay, surviving. So in that moment, I'm changing stickers, but this is where we at. Because I got a whole lot. Y'all don't let me forget certain things, okay? So I'm changing. Okay, nobody changing the stickers. So I do that. We eat organic, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the journey just keep getting deeper and deeper. So I, I run across this video by the 13th son. Because oh, yeah. I'm just doing research. The 13th son, yeah. Ooh, long time ago. Bitch, almost 11 years. He said, because y'all know them beasts got spirits. Wait, hold up. What? Y'all know y'all not supposed to be eating that dead flesh. Dead flesh? I didn't ever see it like that, nigga. Nigga, pack that bitch. And sold it to me. And I went home and cooked it. I didn't never see it for how you saying it. I didn't see that. I don't know you saying I'm eating flesh, nigga. So, we go cold turkey that motherfucking day. Oh, yeah, we do. It was hard for Destiny. She loved bacon. For years. I mean, two years after that, she would say, because you just took it away from me. I wasn't ready. And I, would, I just would keep telling her, I'm saving us. I, I, you may not see it, but I'm saving us. I said, I didn't know it was killing us. So, bam. At this point, I had to let all snacks go. We didn't have no cold drinks. We didn't have no candy. We didn't eat no chips. We didn't do nothing that that I first knew was poison. So, mind you, everything's organic at this point, right? So, then we, I find out we're not supposed to be eating meat. Never ate it since that day. <laughs> cold turkey. So, then we still doing fish. We still doing eggs. We don't understand what eggs is yet. We just we, we keep like it's eggs, me. We don't know. So I'm just still researching. We're doing fish. We're doing crawfish. We're doing shrimp. We're doing dairy. Then later you finds out that dairy is worse than the fucking meat. And that you actually sit there and understand that you are drinking cow's milk. I I I, I heard it, but you don't understand that they're like, no, 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 no. You know how that breast milk that you give to your baby. That's exactly what you drinking out that jug. That's a little motherfucking nasty. <laughs> Cause I'm not an animal and I'm not barbaric. I had to be trained to do that shit. You had to teach me that shit in school. You had to do campaigns that tell me milk do the motherfucking body good. You had to, you had to put that inside me. You had to put the milk mustache. That shit is nasty, by the way. That's that shit is so gross. And I'm just looking at that shit and we milk business. But you had to, you had to program us to do that. You had to say. Oh, well, we know they're not going to really, you know, adapt to the milk too much. Let's make strawberry milk and chocolate fucking milk, right? Flavorize that fucking shit. I don't got to make chocolate breast milk, bitch. Here it is. But anyway, I don't got to flavorize my milk in order for it to be conducive or normal to the baby because he knows that's his food, right? You don't have to add all of these things that they add to it and able for you to be able to digest it and actually normalize it. You, When you eat in fries, you put sugar on it. So that's because you could keep coming back, right? And that's another fucking thing I want to tell y'all. Stop adding sugar to everything. I can't fucking take it. I seen a bitch making a raw dish today. Spiralized cucumbers and a pesto fucking sauce. Why the fuck you put day syrup in it? There's no point in that. You're addicted to sugar and it has to stop. Stop putting sugar in every fucking thing you do. You put, you make a smoothie in the morning. Here go maple syrup a day syrup. Why? Why? Drink the fucking fruit. Make a strawberry smoothie. And don't add no motherfucking.
fucking sugar. Why do y'all do that? Because sugar is equivalent to the addiction of cocaine and you just don't get it. Oh, cocaine. Yeah, bitch. Put them inside each other. Pile the sugar and cocaine. Look alike. Live it. Not at all. Okay. In the same brain you process it, it's the same addiction. So you have one nigga that'll sneak through your window and steal your motherfucking air condition for some coke. And you got children that'll wake up and come down the stairs and go through your fucking sugar for some snacks. Go through your, your cabinet, your refrigerator, I mean. Same energy, son. Same energy. It's the same motherfuckers who wake up 12 midnight eating motherfucking cookies and cake. It's the same motherfuckers I see eating cake 9 in the morning. Like that ain't gonna lead to heart attacks and you know, all of this other shit. So when we are talking about veganism or alkaline, fuck it all. Bitch, you got to do better. Oh, you got to fucking do better. Because if we wasn't talking vegan, and we weren't talking alkaline, and we weren't talking Dr. Savi, do you think it's okay to have a piece of cake nine in the morning? Does that is, is that healthy? Let's just talk about that. Is cold drinks healthy? Well, we call it cold drinks in New Orleans, pot, soda pop, whatever the fuck y'all call it. it. Would you consider that as something like, oh, this would be on a health list? Absolutely not. So we could, we could stop all that other shit. We don't have to go through, oh, he's on this list. And that's all separation tools. We just got to know that that shit ain't healthy. And any way you try to bend it and twist it, you got to fucking do better. So let's rewind. We still on the meat. We still on, not the meat. We still on the dairy. We still on the fish. I find out that dairy is wrong. We cut it the fuck out. Right? We still are fucking with just fish. So now we making fish. We making our... Own little, we buying a little vegan cheese from the store, blah, 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 whatever like that. Now, mind you, meatless meat not even out yet. It's not out. There ain't no Beyond Crumbles. None of that shit is, is here yet. This 11 years ago. This, 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 mind you, man. Fuck this, man. Listen, I had a natural birth seven years ago when bitches wasn't doing that shit. Kudos, bitch. I don't give myself enough motherfucking. Man, I did that shit. You heard me? When everybody was like, what at your house? What the fuck? Bitch, nobody. Yeah, son. Yes. Okay, let me, let me rewind, let me rewind, yes, yes, because I don't hear it enough. I did that, I did that, and I'm so fucking proud of me, yes, and you do it, and we all could do it, let's go. Okay, so I'm still doing the seafood, then you find out that seafood is still flesh, and that seafood still rots inside of your body, it doesn't hurt you like meat would do, but it's still taking a toll on the body. So let me answer this question that I can hear piercing through my mind. Well, Crystal, what about our ancestors who partake in eating meat and eating fish? What happens? Okay, one, they were not eating meat at the rate that you eat it. Say, for instance, there was no, we don't, we don't want the word vegan. And we just majority, 90% of the time, ate fruits, vegetables, and herbs. And then when no vegetation was near, we went and killed an animal for survival. We can live like that. That can be okay. Per the animal is eaten from the valley and ain't been poisoned and ain't no antibiotics and all of that shit. We can survive and we can be strong and we can make it. Because that one, you know, here and there piece of meat is not going to just be like, oh, she's done. You have to build it up, bitch. Okay? You have to eat sugar at, at a rate of every day in order for the body to say, my fucking God, I've had enough. I was a candy fucking junkie. You couldn't stop me. You couldn't stop me. Every time we opened, went into a gas station, I have to have everything. Caramello, Snickers, Musketeers, all love it. All love it. My back teeth should be gone. I do have two missing on the side and one I'm eventually have to get pulled. I have to save these bitches. When you eat better, you preserve your entire motherfucking body. Okay? So, what about the people eating fish? Same thing. You're consuming it way too often. There is no reason that you should have fried chicken every day. And then at that, they was not doing that. Putting it in batter, frying it in fucking destructive oil, such as canola and corn oil and safflower oil, all that shit. You are living 10, 15, 100 times more dangerous than they are. They're not exposed to deodorant, the chemicals in deodorant that's carcinogen. They don't get perms. These people never had cell phones, motherfucker. You have to take all of that in consideration at the rate we are now. So back then, if we could have ate some chicken and been fine, we sure as fuck can't do it now. Unless you got them motherfuckers fucking in your backyard, bitch. Okay? And you eating them motherfuckers here nor there. Not you have a chicken every night. Not you frying it. 
We have come to a place where it is survival time, my nigga. It is survival time. We are being hit in every area we could be hit and only the strong will fucking survive. Only. The bitches who talking that, it's too hard for me to do. You know what's hard? That's bitches who ain't, it, it ain't hit them yet. You know what's hard? A bitch who got cancer is hard. That's what's hard. You know what's hard? Lupus. When I look at my duck ass, have to get high all day just for the pain to stop. Because the lupus give you all these shots through your fucking body like lesions on your kidney, bitch. Whooping your ass. Eat that chocolate again. But what? Yes. I want to play with destiny. I want to get the fuck out of this bed. That was hard. So when you ask me, you don't want to go back to eating that way? Are you, have you lost your fucking mind? I don't want to feel like that. I, I was diagnosed bipolar depression. Okay? Yeah. Still a little nuts. <laughs> Right? That is the food. If you are suffering with any mental illness, honey bun, you don't have to experience that. These medications and the foods are destroying the very essence of our soul, which destroys our mind, my nigga. I was angry, but the moment I let all of those foods go, it was over. It was fucking over, my nigga. Nothing worked out for me. Nothing ever worked out for me. I used to cry and say, I must be the unluckiest child in the world. Because everyone, like, I, I was just stupid from fourth grade to sixth grade. They hated me. They say my hair was a jerry curl. Fuck you, West Bank bitches. That's how we look in the seven wall hole. It was just a mess, right? Until everything changes. When you start eating from God, everything changes. I hear y'all crying to me. What do we do next? What is the next stop? Clear your body, my nigga. You cannot manifest. Let me tell you, you're going to say, oh, what about the big fat bitches who do hoodoo? Man, fuck all that. Okay, them old hoes who do the fatness and had the hoodoo didn't get perm, son. She didn't wear perfume, my nigga. She didn't wear the old dress. She didn't get her nails done. She didn't get as many vaccines as you're exposed to. You're fucked, my nigga. You cannot compare yourself to a people who is not going through with the, with the extent of what you're going through now. And guarantee she isn't as full. That bitch probably could fly. Had she not be fucking with the shit she fucking with. Is she powerful? Yes. But could she be 10 times more powerful if she was fucking with what she was supposed to be fucking with in this entirety? Your two pets is poison. Y'all want to talk about the slaves surviving? They ate about a thousand raw herbs a day. They went go pick the fucking uh lettuce and the fucking dandelion green. All that was green. Eating herbs. You always hear black people say, white people not seasoning that food. What is seasoning? What is seasoning, black niggas? <laughs> herbs. For that is our very existence. And you know it in your soul without even knowing it. When you put that onion powder on there, that's an herb. Because onions are more of a healer than they are a food, my nigga. If you have a cold right now, if your lungs are congested and your motherfucking nose stopped up, cut a fucking onion. And put your face in it, bitch. All that people going to come start dribbling it for my eyes burning. Detox, bitch. Put a face in it. Put it. <laughs> okay? Right? You can make onion soup. They're going to take away a fucking fever. Right? You can put onions in your motherfucking sock. And it's going to uh, detox your fucking liver. Stop playing. So you put no onion powder on your motherfucking food. That was healing. Right? You was putting fucking oregano. An antibiotic. Yet y'all fucking with these antibiotics from the doctor. And all they do is give you yeast infections because they're killing everything. Because you are set up in a system that's barbaric and animalistic and you're not understanding me. Opposed to killing what is needed to be killed, they kill every fucking thing. And that is what they do. They have shown you who they are, yet you will never fucking believe it. They show you that in every single move they make. They destroy lands. And they destroy a group of people. And it's genocide on everything. These people don't just say, oh, they're standing in the way of me leading. You know, I'm going to go fight the leader to rule the nation. They come and kill every motherfucking body. Back in the day, if a nigga felt like he wasn't ruling right, black on black, he like, come on. I want to do it, bitch. It's time for me to see if I can take that position. Not white people. They come and murder the churn, the pregnant women, enslaving the race. These People eliminate everything that is an animalistic trait, and that's the fucking way that it is. You got cancer. You don't just eliminate the cancer cells. These motherfuckers eliminate everything. You got 
a yeast infection. Instead of the medicine just being directed to just the yeast, it kills all of the healthy and the bad bacteria balance. And thus you have, now you have a worse infection. And then there'll be an infection to the point that antibiotics won't be able to help you. That's how bad we talking. So you have to understand that you are set up in a system that destroys everything because they're barbaric, nigga. They're barbaric, but you're not understanding that. So with that being said, I forgot what I was even talking about before I'm just so angry. <laughs> Oregano, I was talking about the herbs, there we go. Oregano, right, an antibiotic, right? We had basil, we was cooking with ginger. What your grandma put in them beans so your big, big fucking cheese ass wouldn't get gas? Bailey's, bitch, okay? Now you using every blue runner can. This is amazing, this, this is, we had herbs. And yet you don't believe in the power of herbs. And that's what kept the slaves from dying off slave food. Dr. Lily Africa. They take the ham, right? That, that the white man give them. And there's parasites in the meat. We all should know that by now, right? And he put the clove. They put the clove. They put the, no, excuse me, they put the honey. That's where you get honey glazed ham from. Let's talk about it. Put the honey on the ham. He stick cloves in it because cloves kill parasites. The honey brought the parasites to the top because they love sugar. That's why you addicted, son. And they put the cloves so they come to the top, eat the honey, and the clove die. And then they have clean meats. Okay? So you talking that big shit. We've been eating it since the end of time. Tell that to the nigga that you sitting in that, that dialysis. I ain't changing, son. We've been doing this. Well, what you doing wrong? What you doing that's not right? Since ancestors been doing that shit. Because y'all like to scream that. But you're not living like that, son. You're not living like that. So I don't want to hear that. You ain't living how they was living. Your your air was fresher. I just told you niggas we don't even see faces in the clouds no more. None of y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Nobody don't see it. Okay. Er. So, back to the journey. By this point, we're not doing no sugar, no cold drinks, none of that shit. We off the meat. We off the thing, we off the fish. Because now we feel like fish rise in the body, it gives you parasites. Fish is a, a, a big in parasites, probably more than meat. Well, not this meat, whatever. So we off all that shit, right? So then, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I will never go back in my life. My fucking, um, I don't get the butterfly rash no fucking more. I didn't have this much energy in my life. I just feel great. I start to tell my fucking family. Yes, bitch. This is the way we do it. We should be vegan. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. I didn't understand because my family has fam issues like every family, right? I didn't understand how grateful I was for a family where everybody heard what I was saying. Sometimes I get so mad and you know we have our beefs in this, but then I said to myself, there are people right now suffering, watching their mom die because they know the truth and they're like, mom, Please, I'm telling you, like, this is killing you. And the mom is just, no, I want to go to heaven today. So let me keep eating what I'm eating because I love heaven, right? Yeah. There are, people have to watch their sisters and brothers die, their nieces and nephews. And yet my whole family understood what I was saying. And I have to sit and I have to take a deep breath and I have to thank God for that. Not the guy you think I'm talking about. I know the real God, okay? I have to say to myself, thank you. As chaotic as it may seem that I, we want to strangle each other, they're, they they listen. And now we we all get to live. So mind you, I'm telling everybody, mama is vegan. Yay! 11 fucking years, right? She looks great. She don't got no health problems. I don't know a lady that's 57 right now that don't is not taking one prescription pill. You may know one. Because when we you, you say what is healthy. If you got to go to them for a monthly subscription or a weekly subscription to get on something that you have been diagnosed with, you ain't healthy. If you got to take your kids, get antibiotics, have the antibiotics, because one sickness, let's be clear. The children getting sick is not a bad thing. We want them to get immune to the sickness. Children just come to this earth. They have to come in contact with all that has been. So when they come up on something, they build a border to it. They get sick. The body says, I recognize it. We don't have to have chicken pox again. That's why you never had it again, whether you had the fucking vaccine or not. 
because once the body is exposed to it, then there's no need to have it again. The only time you will reoccurrently get it is if you continue to keep the body in a vulnerable state or a low vibrating state with the foods that you continue to eat to cause the sickness. The only time. If they have something come here like how COVID did, or it came out, say all my children healthy, one of mine get it. She exposed to it. She'll never get it. The fact that she get it, we all in the house with her. We smell the fumes. She's smelling. Now our body say, oh, you immune to it. Y'all don't even have to catch it. We're going to build antibodies for it. Cool. She go back to eating her regular vegan broadcast diet. Boom. She'll never get it again. That is the way that this shit was supposed to work. Not the fact that you can sit in a motherfucking eat arbor and they give your child a popsicle. A popsicle? Your grandma would never. You don't have a mothering instinct in you. When your baby has a fever to say, run, run and get a popsicle. Sugar and dye, my nigga? And milk? This, I'm, I'm gonna be in this bitch all day. You can't find out what's wrong and we giving her a popsicle to make. And we never saw nothing wrong with right now. She's sucking on a popsicle. I don't think that would be appropriate for a child's body who's trying to heal. Are we understanding how big barbaric, barbaric this system is? A popsicle, son. A trying to eradicate the fever where the fever is a good thing. Unless we getting up to 106 and 107. And I feel like personally, I feel like the only reason you get to that extent is because you putting so-called medication on top of it. So now the body got to fight the infection and fight the Tylenol? Good luck. Good luck. If you are a person who suffers with genetic seizures, then any type of high temperature can bring you into convulsions, true. But we can stop that, allegedly. This is for entertainment purposes only. FDA doesn't approve. And you should find something wrong with that. <laughs> Whew. With not eating the same things that the people ate before us that caused us to be a generation of women that are halfway barren. When you have had four children and you say, I'm trying for my fifth, but it ain't happening. That ain't happened with grandma. We have a generation of women who wombs are broken. I love y'all. I'm, I'm speaking from a past. Well, we have cysts in our ovaries and we have blocked tubes and we have all of these diseases in our womb, fibroids and tissue and, and, and just carrying dirt in our portal, the, the gatekeepers. This is what we be, the gatekeepers, nigga. Yes, you can give me that seed all day and all night, but you have to entrust me to bring that motherfucker through. Right? The gatekeepers, this is where your womb is sitting. Fibroids the size of, of fucking babies in there, man. Sis, sis in your fucking tools, man. That's a violation of God. And yet you want to tell me that light my candle is a violation of God? That's a violation of God. Because he told you, she, he, with whomever, told you to respect your temple. And that's not respecting your temple when you have things sitting in your gateway. The men, where's y'all here? Where's your hair? Direct line. To the prostate. The middle of the head goes first. Because he just fucking and fucking. He don't got no control. He's just in the porn generation of fucking, fucking, who this hoe, that hoe. I'm a dumbass nigga. Just, just, this out his fucking mind. Don't know where he going. Don't know who he is. He just know he got a dick and he can use it. And if a bitch use her pussy, she worthless. <laughs> nah, son. It's the same for you. You trash. And we don't want you because you got too many miles on you too, motherfucker. I don't know what makes you niggas think that you exempt. All your hair is gone because you want to fuck all day, but you eating bad. I want to fuck all day too with my husband. But if I give this nigga herbs and I'm feeding him the, the greens of the earth, there he replenishing what he losing. But if your nigga eating fried chicken and macaronis and, 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 and got... You name them bitches to death. That's why they look dead on your plate, bitch. <laughs> right? You live the fuck over. Greens. Yeah, I know them bitches is poo. Now, then how, how, how they replenishing it? How they replenishing the nut that they give off? The cum that they come and give you. To give you superpowers. 
Because it got trace minerals in it. That nigga shit don't got no trace minerals in it. It don't got no fucking trace minerals in it. None. It do, but it, but it don't. It's, it's done. The man's supposed to feed you life. He's supposed to come inside you and literally come inside you, not just with his nut, come inside you, become part of you, right? And he give you all of his filth. And he make your fibroids grow. Because if y'all not growing together, y'all gonna die together. So if you, if nobody's aware and saying, oh, I got these fibroids, something has to change, and he like, I ain't eating that shit, what we doing? He can feed your fibroids. Estrogen, fibroids are grown by estrogen, okay? If he's loaded with estrogen through his meat, through his medication, through his soy, he in turns nuts inside of you, and that cum or nut goes into your bloodstream, and he and you ate it. You don't have to swallow it to eat it, baby. Your pussy ate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe your period wasn't that bad until you met him. You ever had that experience? I never used to bleed like that. This nigga drink like 80 pounds. Pints of fucking liquor, bitch, a day. You think that's okay for your woman? It's also a blood thinner, ladies, on your menstrual cycle. No, still in the club, just bleeding down your leg. God. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Drink, drink the cold drink or, pour, or so, soda pop, whatever y'all call it. Pussy gush, and you don't ever correlate the two. That damn, as soon as I, as soon as I ate that cookie, it just gush blood out me. You're bleeding to death nowadays. You never heard your grandma have cramps ever. Unless you have a young grandma right now. If you have a grandma that's 60 and up, you never heard her have cramps. Something is wrong. Normalize eating well. Without a, You don't have to have a title. Fuck this Sabian shit. Fuck this vegan title. Fuck whatever you want. Normalize eating well. Normalize eating well. And then I see a post today. Seven and fat bitches. You know, sorry. Okay. Seven and fat bitches dancing in a bikini. Don't body shame. No, 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 ho. Let's be clear. Body shaming is shaming someone who body was like that when they come out their mouth a pussy. And then they grow up in adult, you know, to adulthood. And this is the way the body is formed before, you know, you you begin to deteriorate or eat a certain way. You being overweight is not, is not body shaming you. That's telling you, sis, that's unhealthy. But you only see niggas do that. Don't body shame me now, nah, sis. That's unhealthy. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying your ass is flat. That would be body shaming you. Because you know what I'm saying? We Well, all skinny people not healthy either. Absolutely. So skinny people eat well. Fat bitches lose weight and eat well. What the fuck? We got to do better. We can't. Why are we celebrating this shit? We celebrate sickness. You motherfuckers put on sunglasses when people who wear glasses can't see. You don't see nothing wrong with that. This shit is weird to me. Melanin, you know that you need, black people need sun through your eyes. Do you know it processes through your eyes? And you put sunglasses on. That is made for white people and you don't fucking get it. They burn, not you. So why, why is you putting on fucking sunglasses? Let it come through your eyes and into your body and align you. Align your chakras, align your mind. You need the sun to be fed. There is nothing in nature that doesn't need the sun to grow. Nothing. Sun only deteriorates white people, sorry. It is what it is. And this is in no way shaming white people. This is about telling black people who they are and their connection with nature. And in doing that, I must tell them who you are. And I and, and that's just what it is. That is in no way saying I hate you. Hello, how are you? Have a good day. But sunscreen was made for white people. Well, I'm black crystal and I burn in the sun. You've lost too much, honey. You participate in things that you shouldn't. All of those Velatical, you never saw that disease, man. Take enough fucking medication and you'll lose your melanin. Dr. Lily Africa, yeah, you better pause it, Instagram, bitch. <laughs> you better pause it, Instagram. Instagram not ready. We have to get my own platform. Y'all not ready. If I thought Facebook was blocking me out, Instagram on it. Hello. Fuck it, man. There ain't no stopping what God put here. <laughs> Let me tell that to you, IG. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'll say, for if God be with you, who can be against you? Not you. <laughs> Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and all these pussies think, no, I just had that. that, that. <laughs> I fear it's a no evil, nigga. It is what it is. Medication is a melanin killer. Get the book by Dr. Lily Africa. He's explaining it in a scientific way that I can. 
all medication. You wonder why you're turning white and burning in the sun. Come on, son. You wear sunglasses. Bitches who can't see wear sunglasses, you go get it for fashion. That, that's weird. No. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so with that being said, let's backtrack. So the fish is gone. This is gone. I feel great. I'm doing fine. I'm excited, right? <laughs> I don't do no medicine because the rabbit hole just keep getting deeper. I don't do no medicine no more. I'm like, wait, what is this back of the stuff on the deodorant? This can't be right. So I'm Googling and everything. This may cause death. Bitch. Boom. What can you use natural for the oil? Key lime. Okay, got it, bitch. Been using the key lime ever since. So fuck with me. Shampoo. Making a mockery of us washing our hair with something that ended poo. What our duck duck goose ass. We not even understanding the manipulation and the motherfucking energy that they putting on shit to have destroy us through. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Conditioner. Conditioning our head to be something that is not so we can eventually hate it. And tie it down from the four elements that we need to be kept and planted around this bitch. You want superpowers, bitch? Let that hell. out. I don't give a fuck if you gotta start with a fade. Let that shit. But let the sky touch it. Let the, the moon touch it. The sun touch it. You gonna buy fucking herbs. Oh, this been cleansed under the moon. Your hair heavy. What's, what the fuck going on? But anyway, so I use the Castiel soap bar to wash my hair. Don't even wash it that often. Twice a year, whatever the fuck I wanna do. Cause I got a nigga hair, you heard me? Don't put conditioner in there. I put olive oil in that bitch and comb it the fuck out. Now I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been taking care of my shit. But that's cause I'm stressed out and I got a baby and I don't give a fuck. And that's just what it is right now. When I'm baby free and these niggas stop trapping, I mean, when I stop getting pregnant back to back, accountability, then I'm going to take care of myself more, <laughs> okay? But right now, I'm mothering. I still got to be here for y'all. And so this is what it is. But you can do all of this. What do you use for lotion? Lotion was also on a melanin destroyer list. And yet you run the Bath and Body Works. Like the shit not poison. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, shea butter. What's the problem? Grapeseed oil, avocado oil. What's the problem? There's no problem. We just didn't know no better, man. We didn't know no better. And I'm going to get to my point. So then I stopped doing all that. So bad. My life then completely changed. I'm manifesting, bitch. I'm still on section A food stamps, but I'm manifesting. See, y'all give up on the journey too soon. Let the journey be the fucking journey. Yeah, who? I'm conscious on food stamps in section A. Let's talk about it. I don't got a job. But you remember you still have to pay your little light bill on it, right? You still have to get money from my mind. My mind. No, that's got to be over with. So I'm a dental assistant, right? Get my first little dental assistant job. I'm making like $14 an hour. I'm, I'm full of myself. I'm doing it right. But that, that wasn't what God needed me to do. That was only for a period of time. Boom, lose that job due to somebody being an asshole. Well, I quit because, they, because that's what God had planned for me. Because sometimes when you think that God need to work on you without you doing a nine to five, right? But you don't trust the process. You say, well, what I'm going to do for money? Oh, my God, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? Somebody had hit me a month before that. I was at a red light. Hit me. Boom. I already win a case. As soon as I quit a job, full stacks. Oh, I can pay these little bills. I'm already still on section eight. And full stacks. I'm going to trust the process. Boom. Destiny get bit by a dog. Get, get five stacks from them. I'm like, damn, this money back to back. I was like, this is crazy. But I mean, right. So God is here. God is here now. You talking about you got to do all that and hallelujah, not nah, God here. God right chills. I'm eating well and God, everything is intense. God see me buying this fucking organics for my children with them food stamps. Seeing me like, come on, what, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? You don't got to worry about what the fuck you're going to do. I got it. Don't even trip. Do what the fuck I put you to do. Don't worry about nothing. I'm going to roll that red coffee straight up. So, you know, after them hit, one day we ride. I see, oh, let me, let me get back. Let me get back. So, I get pregnant. This is before I forgot. I'm still on food stamps, so. <laughs> I get pregnant with Harmony, right? Literally, I'm like, no. If we eat wrong, the hospitals and medication so bad, oh my God, what I'm going to do? So, I was like, what do people do? I don't know why y'all don't use Google for what the shit they got. What do people do when they don't have a baby in the hospital? They have it at home. Home? You can do that? Oh, yeah, bitch, I ain't even know. So, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm like, do I go to the doctor? Do I get an ultrasound? So I research ultrasounds, bad, cervical checks, bad. I say, oh. I, then I go through the period. Everybody who get cancer go through. Why are we even here? I just want to die. Just take me. Let the aliens come. What are we even existing for? I hate everything. 
Yeah, you're going to have your breakdown first. I need to see how I want to live like this. Okay, you get over it. Okay, you have a purpose here. Believe that, though. Look at me. Look at me. You heard me? Look at me, nigga. Lord, how many babies we done brought here, son? How many babies? How many motherfucking diabetes we didn't cure? When I say we, you had to pick them fucking herbs up, bitch. How many home births we didn't fucking had? We didn't had over 20,000 babies born. Had I not listened to what the fuck God told me to do, and I wouldn't be sitting here right now fucking with you to fuck with yourself. My nigga, what, look what the fuck we have done, and I'm just starting. We just starting. Bro, who? That's why I tell you I'm not your God. When you see here, you think I'm judging you? Absolutely not. I'm only giving you information because if somebody would have stopped me in between my journey, I wouldn't have listened because I had somewhere else to do to learn all this. Whew. Anyway, I'm like, all that shit wrong, right? So I'm like, I could do this. I ain't going to the doctors. I went to the doctor one time. I peed in the cup. They established the pregnancy. You know, I'm faking like I'm a cum. He said, oh, you got lupus. I want to run some tests on you. I let him run the test and they negative, bitch. Yeah, yeah. He was like, so, you know, I guess lupus comes and goes. Bitch, you know it don't come and go, son. Don't play with me. But I ain't going to tell you what I did, though, because I don't trust you crackers. You heard me? So, I, I never go again, right? No ultrasound, no check. I'm like, man, I'm going to do this. At the time, I had just finished from being gay, right? You heard me? Yes. No gay no more. Please don't ask me. I don't want no pussy on pussy. It is over. Oh my God, I can just smell you. I can get it. You can't, bitch. I don't want it. Ugh. Okay. Mind you. So, oh, I forgot the part. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there. So, I, um, I'm like, everybody kind of, they're not saying they're scared, but I can hear it in their voice. I'm telling them I'm having it at home. You know, everybody like, ooh. You know, so I'm like, fuck, I can't do this with that energy. So, my, my gay, my bet, well, she was my best friend at that point. And she was my ex gay. Fr we friends now, bitch. She was like, I'll come with you. So we in that bitch. I'm going, I, I don't know what labor feels like. You always, always say to me, what I'm gonna do, I never did it, bitch. I had not, I had to never do it to be where to be where I'm at. I had to never do, do it. So I'm sitting there at 12 midnight. I never forget. Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, okay. And I can't go back to sleep. And I get up and I say, oh, my back hurts. And I can't go back to sleep. I'm like, well, I must be in labor. That's what I say to myself. I will never fucking forget. I say I must be in labor. So I don't wake the girl up. Because she, you know, she's sleeping over close to somebody do they? So I, I take a bath and they, they pick it up. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm in labor. Oh, my God. So I go downstairs. I put the sheets down. And, I, you know, I wake her up finally like I'm in labor. You know, so at that point, I feel like I'm dying. There isn't pain, but there's like something I have never experienced before in my life. So I find myself going in and out of it, in and out of it. And I tell her, I say, you know what? I just want to go to sleep. And when I wake up, I just want the baby to be out of me. I just, I just want it to be out of me. She was like, you told me that you were going to say things and not to listen to it. <laughs> so I'm just going in and out of it. So all of a sudden I start throwing up. I said, Am I okay? See if you should. So she Googled it. Do you throw up in labor? Yes, it is making room for the baby to come. They say, yeah, it's making room for the baby to come. I'm like, okay. Oh, so I go to the toilet. I'm shitting. I say, hey, see if it's okay to shit, please. I'm screaming at this point. She was like, it's okay to shit. You know, is it okay to shit? She was like, they say it's cleaning you out. The baby's about to come. I was like, it's coming? Bitch, last shit come. I look down. I was like, ah, it's right there. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there. I was like, ah! I was like, okay, ah! Hey, sits back on the turtle because the position feel good. Body in the turtle. Oops, pick up. Oop. <laughs> Sorry, Harmony. And Harmony changes my life. And as I sit here before you, I am crystal alkaline fucking doodle because Harmony changes my life. Do you understand me? My motherfucking first home birth. Oh, Lord. My twin got the same four days, four day birthday away from me. Got the same soft spirit that I grew up with. Got the same comedian mouth. Got my same face. Got my same everything. You heard me? Like, I, I told her because I had never told her. I told her I was going to wait until she was bigger. But I said, we was walking down the street like last week. And I'm not going to cry because I'm a little bitch now. I said, Harmony. You know, I was waiting till you was older, but... 
You know, all my children have changed my life, but I've never told you what you did. I said, whenever I had you, I said, you remember mommy did it at home, right? Like I did magical and like I did divine. I was like, but you was my first time and I didn't know what I was doing. I said, because of you, you changed my life. I said, you made me comfortable to be able to deliver other people's baby and to be a doula. I was like, and this is the reason that we have everything because of you. And she was like, cousin me? I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, what destiny did? <laughs> and you know, I went on and tell her, you know, well, she made me a mama. She had to soften me in order to come into a certain energy. And then what divine did, and that's just like, my fucking God, if we only understood that we were here for something bigger than for you to be an accountant, if we only understood that you was here for something bigger than for you to be in construction, that God needed a place for every single one of y'all and that we fail as a people when we don't all take our position in competition with one another or not understanding each other's role because we want to be what somebody is. All of us are not herbalists, yet some of my brothers and sisters are. Some of y'all we need to show us how to fucking do yoga because when you stretch the body and the ligaments are in tune with one another, that's a part of health. Some of us, we need for you to show us how to do hair. We need for some of y'all to make us laugh because when you laugh, you squeeze a muscle that tones the liver and makes it healthy. But if you don't understand who you supposed to be, you're going to be looking at everybody else who's fulfilled thinking that you empty, my nigga. Man, dog, fast forward, rewind. You know what the fuck I'm saying. So boom, I have home and it changes motherfucking life. Go back. So after I cut the cold drink, the this, the that, the everything, right? I do a fast for 30 days. All right, this is before I get pregnant. 30 days I fast. I eat a meal every day at five o'clock and it's a salad. And then some days I don't even get hungry. I go some days without eating at all, just water. Them 30 days changed my motherfucking life. It had cleared my body so much that God was inside of me when I had looked for it everywhere else. And I didn't have to ask for nothing no more because everything I thought became, oh yeah. <laughs> you talking to that girl, I'm telling you, son. But mind you, now I got harmony. Now I quit my job because of the bitch shit that was going on, right? But God was like, nah, 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 you not quitting. I need you real quick. It's training time, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> The time that you have on your plate when you don't work and you don't smoke and you don't fucking drink and you listen to God, my fucking goodness. So we outside one day and there's a motherfucking bassinet on the ground. Little thing that do this. Now Harmony a little too old, but it's so nice. And I say, man, let's get that. Let's see who we could give it to. So the lady next door to me said, you could sell that. Oh my. So I sell it on Facebook Marketplace. My first little sale thing, right? Full profit. 25 bucks because I got it for free. Bitch, we roll up and down for a year straight. <laughs> Bitch! I had my little couple of month old Harmony and I think Destiny might have been like seven and a half, right? Because she's 17 now. And we roll. And I tell you to the point where it don't matter what you do. When God which was always joy in your heart. We would have so much fun. She she didn't come with me at first. Destiny. Then she started bringing her friends. So we would start going that night. Because we used to be a little embarrassed. Now and then at some point we didn't give a fuck. It paid my bills for a year. A year. A year. Do you understand what the fuck I'm telling you? A year. So when I hear y'all. that's That will make me curse at y'all so much when i hear you hoes tell me oh you think if i wanted a restaurant you know if, if, if i had the money i would have my restaurant i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that shit son <laughs> i don't want to hear that do do what you may not like doing or what you have to do to reach the goal of what you're here to do That's all I'm saying. 
I don't think that my end game was to collect trash, but I think it was time for me to sit home and let go and talk to me while I was an independent worker. But mind you, all that's energy. So that's my phone, my first job. I'm a business owner now. Oh, but you're collecting trash, but I'm, a, I'm not working for no one. Are you understanding me? Don't see your journey as this too low for you right now. Understand, a tree don't never say that when it's a seed. They ended the lie, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna go back on, um, I'm gonna go back on Instagram because they need to finish in and then I'm gonna go. Ugh, sorry about my inappropriate cleavage today. Oh, this shit. Lord. I can't believe I tolerate all this fuck shit listening to my own fucking journey. Bitch, I need to be more sedated than this. Fuck all y'all. Okay. Bitch, I'm classy. <laughs> Let me get back on here. Part two on them. <laughs> okay, how do I do it? I don't want to see BBLs. Fuck you. Okay, live. Let me see if it'll let me go back and see part two. Can I put a title later? Check the connection. All right, I, I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just came from IG. You know? <laughs> okay, no, I'm back. I don't, it, it cut me off. I don't know if, like, I reached the hour or some shit. I don't know how that worked. Um, YouTube never fails. I know, right? I know, right? Yeah, as long as I don't start talking about dumb shit. Okay, so I, I, I'm back on, but I'm, I'm about to see. We're telling your followers that you start. Okay, cool. So I'm going to wait for them real quick. Hey, YouTube. Oh, my God, man. So talking about this shit, talking about this shit, because cause I can be, I think we in that energy where black women are just meant to be so strong. Well, we forget to praise ourselves, dog. I just be like, oh, I'm just not. No, man, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I did that shit, son. <laughs> While I was breastfeeding, losing my motherfucking mind. And Harmony made me a herbalist too. I ain't even tell her that. Bitch, you wasn't going to the doctor. I ain't going to the doctor my whole pregnancy. They're not about to get us. Fuck that. Bitch, let me see what's wrong. Oh, Lord. What does it mean when you got lines in your eyes? Bitch, fuck with me. Fuck with me. Okay? I swear to God, I'm like, bitch, if I got to do it, I'm going to do it. So you don't even know how made me half the herbalist I am today. Fucking why I have to just do everything with her. Man. All right, I'm coming. Five year shelf life. Mind you, the herbs have a five year shelf life, but it deteriorates each year. Meaning the power of it isn't as much. You understand what I'm saying? It's not as much power. So we collect the trash. It pays my bills for you. So then I clean this lady house. Okay. All right, uh -oh, Crystal, I have a quick update. Can I join real quick? Uh, Deep Soul Sister, come back on here in like a second after I finish this real quick. Let me, because I'm about to wrap the story up. My whole point, okay. All right, listen. I ain't been getting no sleep. This has been the longest week. I always say that. This baby, it's a baby being a business owner, being a mother. Something that, uh, you know, only guys can do. <laughs> right? Only guys can do. She never sent my product. I don't know if you were scammed. We got a few scam pages. Please do not get on here with that. It is obvious that I'm the real trail motherfucking deal. Please. And I, and if you got scammed from the other pages, I do reach out to you and sorry. Now, if you're already somewhere wrong with it, holler at us, man. We ain't for all that. Just, just send us an email. Look on the website. See what day we working on. We might have not got to your order yet. Just be cool, but don't, don't, that, that's going to offend me. Don't play with me like I'm taking nobody money. Don't, don't do that. Find out what's going wrong. We got excellent customer service over here. You heard me? Five-star review on Google. I don't play that shit. If I fuck up, I'm going to make it right. I'm all woman. All woman. I promise you I'm all woman. I'm going to make it right. You're going to walk away with some free shit. You're going to walk away with gifts. You're going to walk away with refunds and your fucking order. I don't play that shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can by y'all. I'm trying to let y'all know I'm fucking with y'all. And then about where I made it. God did this. You didn't do that. You bought products. God did this. Okay? All right, let's go. And, and I think we on, we should be September. We be rolling. All this, I think a week out. We did that. So that's why I tell you all, if you're serious about your business, get a website. 
That why we can't have people scamming. You shouldn't be telling people even inbox me for your art. Don't nobody want that shit. So let me finish. Let me let me finish and, and then I'm gonna hurry it up and then you could come back. The lady who said she wanted to join the live because we don't got my son. I gotta feed this little baby with a big ass nigga because he looking like he wants some milk. Okay, but that being said, after that I was cleaning this white lady house. I won't name her name, but it was one of my mama friends. Um, her mama then hired me and I was cleaning all together what three houses oh yeah bitch fuck y'all i don't know what that's why i don't got no respect for y'all i'm like man i collected trash i was scrubbing bitches tubs that was like look at this a nigger bitch she didn't treat me like that but ultimately you can kind of feel like that you feel me you know what i'm saying so i don't have really all that dick sucking you have inside i don't know what to do i'm lost and i don't have a hustle nah sis i tell y'all come on son come on come on you can do this. You can do this. So I'm cleaning. Now, mind you, definitely don't go to school. The uh, Harmony may be like almost three or four. I can't even much remember. Um, I'm breastfeeding on demand. So I breastfeed them before I go. Don't fuck with me, man. I'm telling you, I don't want to hear that shit. You get your, your turn to bottle, you still crazy. I, I'm breastfeeding on demand. I don't pump. So I have to feed before I go, clean the house, hurry it up. <clears throat> You know, got Destiny watching her for like maybe an hour or two a day. You know, I'm paying her so she don't feel like a, a sibling who got to work. But I used to tell her, you are not doing black children work. You don't got to cook. You don't got to clean. You just babysitting like I would hire somebody your age to do. So we can make this motherfucking money. Straight up. So a mama can pay these fucking bills. And they're going to they gonna be, you're going to see the sunshine. I'm working towards something. That's why I don't know how you hoes is so content. Being where you are year after year after year after year. And then when a nigga try to push you, they hating on you. Or then when a nigga try to push you, they don't like you. Nah, go around them friends that's trying to say, nah, sis. We not going out this weekend. We doing something. So, okay, boom. February come. I get them income tax, man. Oh, I get them fucking income tax. Bitch, I spent $1,400. And boom, here is the goddess collection. $1,400 fucking dollars. I say, God, I need something steady. Because they say, actually, you shall receive, but not if you clogged up with fibroids and these products and your pheromones don't work because your lymph nodes are clogged up with the perfume and your nails ain't getting no air because they got nails on. You can't hear God. God is constantly talking. You can't hear God. So I asked and I shall, I said, I need something. I want to breastfeed my little girl in this house on demand with no issues and pay my fucking bills. $1,400. I said, well, I know about herbs. Maybe I can help some of these women. That was my exact words. Maybe I can help some of these women who can't get pregnant because I do, I'm good with the womb. I said, I'm going to start doing that. Cool. Let me do that. And that was it. And I grew. And I grew. And then the herbs start talking to you. Y'all think it's a game. <laughs> You think it's a game? You can look at an herb because that's what you know you meant to do. I can look at an herb and be like, I bet you this bitch do this. Do -do -do -do. Bam, bitch. I'm cold like I can smell that bitch. Now, when I smelt it, it had almost like this, this meth methyl smell. You know what I'm saying? So this bitch might be good for the lung. Do -do -do -do. Good for the lung. Boom. It ain't no more than what scientists did to study. You didn't think they had labs all the time. Right? I I'm coming. Y'all ready? It's a Friday, huh? Don't worry. It's the best Friday ever. I got a couple more minutes, okay? Magical, you want to say hey to the people? We like, bitch, if you don't put me to sleep. <laughs> Girl, you look like a fucking toddler. Girl, oh my God, Magical. You shock me every time. Do you so huge. Tell him hey. Tell him hey, my Magical. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. All right. So, I'm almost finished. I spent $1,400 to make the goddess collection. Here we are, four years later. You look, you want to tell them your testimony <laughs> of how we cried? <laughs> I just need a soldier. <laughs> I just need somebody to stick with me. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. And I wasn't even talking about money. I was just talking about, you know, we're going to get out this house because the house for two years remember i remember and it was chaotic i hadn't had divine we the whole downstairs wasn't livable i don't want to hear no excuses i collected trash 
I was a maid. I spent fourteen hundred dollars to start the goddess collection, which of two fucking years I worked out of my two bedroom townhouse with three motherfucking children. Where the upstairs was the only place we had, cause the downstairs, the back was my mama's office. <laughs> oh yeah, bitch, remember that little pool table? <laughs> the front was the herb room where me and Destiny packed. Bitch, come on now. While Dominique walked around with Divine, going outside around the corner, brought her back for milk. Ah, come on, man. And we cry. Lots of days we cry. Lots of breakdowns. And you can have that. You're old that. But the problem is when you break down and you decompose and you don't grow again. That's the problem. I was I was scream at Cat Trees. I just need y'all to ride with me. <laughs> I told Destiny one day I had a breakdown up because it become exhausting. I have children. I'm trying to homeschool. Barely. Right? I'm trying to breastfeed on demand. My children in the house constantly. People tearing me down. People saying, your house too dirty. You're not going to make it. Bitches stealing from you. Bitches, I man, fuck. Single mother. You don't even, you don't got nothing. You making poor decisions. You end up, you doing the best that you can. You surviving. I remember taking her face one day and crying. You know, the snot coming out your nose too. The, <laughs> I say, no, listen. Listen. Everything. And look where we are today. So my point is, you are talking to a girl who looks just like you. This ain't no Netflix story that I just told you, bitch. <laughs> right? I am, you talking to a girl who looks just like you. A black woman with natural nappy hair and a bush on her pussy. Okay? And underarms. Right? You're talking to a woman who has children, who has been a single mother since the beginning of fucking time. Okay? You are talking to you. You talking to her. I am you, man. So you can do whatever you need to do, but you're going to have to start somewhere. So I don't want to hear y'all look at me and try to do that dumb shit black people do. Well, she's saying that because she got money. Man, stop it. I was preaching this shit in my blue bathroom when I didn't have nothing. When y'all didn't even know, I was the goddess collection still swiping that food stamp card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll make a few sales a day. Okay. Food stamp still got still still on that shit. Until it was like, it's enough for you to be able to do on your own. So here we are. Three home births later. Four years later with the goddess collection. Twenty-five thousand babies born and over. Over what? 75 babies deliver, whether it be on Skype. We don't play. <laughs> Bitch, I'm the hood doing the fuck with me. Bitch, I will deliver that baby over the phone. You know how many phone video births out in there? I didn't deliver it over YouTube, not YouTube, Facebook Messenger. <laughs> video FaceTime. And be on the phone. Bitch, we on the phone hours. Live, I didn't deliver. We have done this, man. We I have sat in front of you as a woman who have had nothing and come from the same upbringing that you come from and probably even worse from being molested i want and i'm going through all this to give y'all a certain hope because i don't want to hear no excuses but she ain't get a pussy play what i did <laughs> yeah let's stop it so i have experienced the hurt that you have heard it i have experienced the diagnosis that you have experienced i have experienced the black girl defeat oh yeah so when I'm telling you right now that you can change and you can make a difference and you can pick your ass up as the God of the planet, because I swear these niggas can talk that shit. Oh, we're going to gonna give the seed. You can't do nothing. Nah, nah, nigga. They pause me on IG. I'm going to wait till they come back and y'all can go home. Y'all can go home. It's, it's not even six yet. <laughs> Kim just want to shoot us. <laughs> no, no, don't shoot me. <laughs> okay. So... You can do it. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm so scared. You're scaring me. <laughs> wait, hold up. Okay, what what, else, what am I missing? So I okay, I just want to tell them all my business. No, but this this is what we're supposed to do. Cause there's nothing I'm ashamed of. I'm actually proud. Cause this is why I sit here today. We still still think I'm nuts. I don't care. Y'all should think I'm nuts too. I feel like people should be nuts. People who don't act nuts eventually act nuts. And it's in a mall with a gun and bystanders. <laughs> That's how I feel. I call that a post office, bitch, if you heard me. But um, 
So with that being said, um, what? Okay, so bipolar depression, mental institutions, the children giving up Jacob. Who? I'm so proud of myself. I don't think I ever really was proud of myself. No, I'm serious. No, I don't think. I think I've been hard on myself like I've been told to be. I'm proud of me, bitch. Fuck that. Still, I rise. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No. Breastfeeding, home births, we did this. And when I say we, you picked up the phone and called my plan. You, you got the herbs to do it too. I can't sell nothing to nobody who don't want it. Which I see the people do all the time. You're not even home. You see a burger flash on the TV. Oh, let's go to Randy's. Damn, bitch. But I don't, I don't do you that. So here we are. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you need to do. Allow, I would say the biggest step first is to change. Always, you can always get the message. They always flowing from the sky. It's just whether or not you can hear it or not. Be as free of chemicals as you can be. Be as organic as you can be. That's my biggest advice. Be one with nature and you will hear God. You ain't remember he, he hear the willow tree talking to Pocahontas, bitch. Just think that's a cartoon, huh? That whole said, listen with your heart and you will understand. But how can you do that if you been listening to this type of music y'all do, man? And, and always drinking in another state. And always getting high. And always just doing popping this so you can feel this way. That's weakness, man. This coming from a girl who's addicted to X pills, that's weakness. When you have to take something in order to run from something, that's a weakness. You ain't really no real nigga. You a nigga. And I'm sorry. Just do home births because they know that's the best thing to do. Real niggas don't, don't run the drugs when shit get hard. They run through that bitch. Run on that bitch like in a blender, pop them out, okay? <laughs> they fight the fight. That's what real niggas do. You niggas with your pants sagging, not protecting black women, shooting every black man you see. You ain't a real nigga that's fake, son. You hoes with your wigs and BBLs and fake titties, shaming bitches who didn't breastfed for years. That's fake. I'm a real nigga, bitch. Okay, okay, all right. Well, I think y'all could go battling it. Okay, so, right, I got you. Right, the baby's on good. Okay, I can handle it. Y'all dressed alike today, by the way. Version of what she has on. That is so cute. As y'all sit side by side, that's crazy. Okay. Wow. You won't. I'm not going to decide. I can handle it. I'm about to get off. Where's the girl who, Deep Sister Soul, you're welcome. Okay, there she go. Deep Sister Soul, make a comment so I can put you on. If I got to take a nap. Oh, I know. I'm so tired. That's why I get on here cursing at y'all. Because I'm tired of the excuses. Bitch, go and sell roses on the side of the road. Go get you a bundle from, from fucking Whole Foods and sell a rose with a ribbon on it. Stand on the corner. Be like, roses for, for fucking five dollars. Boom, you done made just some money back, man. Hustle. I don't want to hear shit, my nigga. Yeah, get him, let him hug you and love him. Why, you know what I'm saying? Why? Yeah. Love you. Love you so much. Wait, wait. Deep Soul. Where is she? Try to join. There she is. Okay, she wanna she have an update. No, that, that ain't you, nigga. Deep Soul, come on. Cause I gotta go. But I saw a few of y'all making comments that I know was directed towards me. And so I wanted to get on here and tell y'all my journey so y'all can stop playing. So you can stop. So the biggest enemy can stop being yourself. Deep sister soul. There she go. Okay. So let's see. I think what you had a testimony. You wanted, wanted to curse me out. Let's see what's going on with you. And then we're going to wrap this up so y'all can eat dinner. Remember when dinner was at five? Finish doing that. Finish doing that. Hey, sis. How are you? Good. This so, the last. I'm taking this lady and we done. Remember I told you that on my, um, the, my, the birthday of my son, I seen the double rainbow? Yeah. Well, I just tested positive today. So, <laughs> Congratulations! Y'all don't remember her YouTube because you can't see us. Can can I show it like this? Can they see now? 
So yeah, she had. Can you tell them your story real quick for the new viewers? Uh, I had uh, multiple okay. miscarriages. Um, I used to be 320 pounds. I had. I lost a lot of weight in order to actually start being able to get pregnant. Um, but I had multiple miscarriages, so I actually called and talked to Crystal. It was the day of my son's birthday, who I had lost um, a few years back. And um, I had seen a double rainbow that day, and I was like, Crystal, and so I just tested positive today. Um, so I'm pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank and you're going to stay pregnant. And just like I told you last time, and you're going to be on this live, you're going to say, I had my baby. You're not, she not having no more miscarriage. This is it. This is this is a baby. It's, it's, it's time. Swallow that divine iron, my nigga. Your digestive system is also kind of worn out. So just okay. keep it as clean as you can clean. Okay, okay. All right. Divine, so I do that because I have the divine iron, the golden dot, the yeah, yeah, yeah. rice, and I got everything. Girl. Okay, well, you can do. I forgot. Weren't you O negative? Wasn't that you? AB. Okay, so that's not true. What? So your problem was a progesterone? Who was your um, I had a low progesterone. Okay, yeah. Um, Uh, okay, hammer's free. Yeah, I got the hammer's free too. I got okay, too. so progesterone rising until when is the when is the last um how how far did you carry with the other one? So I'm actually really early, girl. I my the first day of my last period was on the first. So okay. technically, it felt like three weeks. Yeah, congratulations! And you got a good line that early, so that lets you know. Congratulations. You got it, sis. So, progesterone rising until when did you lose the other one? Well, when did the other one pass on? Excuse me. That was in um, May, uh, April 15th. How many months were you? Uh, so, technically, I would have been eight weeks. Okay. So, you're going to take the progesterone rising until you are nine weeks. Nine so, you weeks. take it a week after where you had passed on, the baby had passed on. Yeah. Okay. So you'll okay. take it to your nine weeks, divine iron, cause your iron, little low, little low. And yeah. congratulations, this is the baby, Thank but you. I can smell it on you. This is it, so. Thank you. you know, it's weird cause when I was talking to you last time, you made this weird face. And I was like, she making a face like she think I'm pregnant or something. And then like literally I was, I don't know. But I, you don't remember me asking you that? Are you pregnant now? No. No, but like a few days after I talked with you, I had like really bad cramping, like period cramping. And I said, oh, what's going on down there? And I was just, I had been feeling weird down there. Like just something just was feeling weird. So that's why I tested because like my period is not even due for like another week or so. Oh, it's, it's so not I, coming. Like, it's not yeah, coming. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. that's exciting, man. I, I have Thank become you. a full, I'm so happy for you. I love you, you know, sis. Please keep us posted. Okay, I will. Love you too. Thank you so much, Crystal. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's dope, man. Listen, I become full of God's energy. So whatever we are made in the image of God, I have all them Hercules powers. I'm so excited about this doula seminar. I will be touching wounds. Anytime I touch wounds on niggas, they get pregnant. Anytime like I speak, man, I'm so excited. I'm so so excited. We've decided to have doula seminars every three months, so the next one will be in January. You know why? Because we want to see more women have home births. We want to educate you at the very least on why you should and then whatever decision you choose to make after that, you choose to make. But we still want to let you know why we suggesting it. Why? You know what I'm saying? All the information that you would need to make whatever choice that you are. So I'm not your God. Or put me here to do and if you clicked on this live i'm assuming you want something different in your life and something better than your life and no i'm not your preacher bitch because i ain't passing the collection plate i should charge you hoes i swear to god if you see the stars i'm gonna find out how i put the stars on this bitch i am hiring for a content creator please i don't i hate to even do it on here 
But I'm just feeling like some of my YouTube people, I mean, some of my um Instagram people might know a fire-ass content creator. Because I should get on here and a background that have rainbows and shit. And uh, I should be able to have y'all, if y'all, you know what? I used to feel bad. I say I would never charge them for information. But if you dumbass dick suckers, and I'm not talking about all y'all, is going to sit there and press stars for bitches who do reels where they running and they ass clapping. Fuck all that. Y'all not about to exhaust me, bitch. I have to breastfeed on live. Uh-uh. I want to install money when you press it. You know what I'm talking about. No. You never seen Facebook send stars and like one star is a dollar. Ah, he it. And it's going in his mouth. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. Somebody tell me how I could charge bitches. <laughs> Somebody tell me how to do that. I want to get my stars activated. Please share info for the Doula Seminar. It is sold out, my nigga. Tickets will go on sale for the January Doula Seminar. It, the next, okay. October 8th is the Doula Seminar, which is what? Next weekend? Not next weekend. The weekend after next. On October 9th, the warehouse is open. That's a Sunday. That means the day after the seminar, we opening this bitch and you can come shop until you drop. It's a weekend. All the people that's in town, if you want to come, if you miss the seminar and you want to come and you just want to get that love and that energy, remember everything is fucking energy. If you just want to see me, if you want to breathe the air that we all breathing in this bitch, if you want to hold hands and touch and hold your womb, I don't charge for that. And all of that other shit, let's do it. Come in this bitch October 9th. We gonna be open. We gonna be here that Sunday. On Monday, October 10th, the tickets for the next doula seminar in January will go on the site. Okay? I hope I get a ticket available. I drove from Atlanta in a blink of an eye. I hope the ticket... Oh, Lord, bitch. Um, somebody is selling one. I told her... I'm gonna post it on my Facebook. October 9th. The problem, I hate charging people so much. That's my problem. Yes, we have to understand. Listen. Listen, 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 sis. You charge what you worth. And we have to stop feeling bad for that. Listen, and I hate to tell this story because I don't want to tell this story for y'all to know what I do. Because I always said the things that I do for people, I would never tell. Because I hate people who record giving food to the homeless. What you doing that for? That means your intentions isn't right. And when I understood God, I understood that everything was intentions. I would cry and say, you know, God, is you going to get me for changing these stickers from organic to conventional? And then God said to me, am I going to punish the child who homeless and go steal an apple? Everything is intention, sis. Everything is intention. And I understood that. So what is good and what is bad? It's killing bad. We can look at it that way. But not if somebody's trying to kill me, then I must kill someone. Uh, can, uh, is it going to change stickers? My intentions are very wrong. Then I'm going to pay for that. So with that being said, I had to realize that every, every, every single thing was intention. Which brings me back to what the fuck I was saying just now? Damn. I was saying about the apples and the people stealing and some and some and I'm coming. Oh, fuck did he do? Oh, charging. That's what we're talking about. Okay, got it. So... You have to understand, charge what you were. Oh, that's what it is. So intention. No, no, I forgot. I forgot. I haven't gotten no sleep this week. Oh, God. So, see, this is what people who don't sleep, you can't think. Pay attention to that. You cannot think. That's why people who don't sleep you up all night, good luck. Um, I go to sleep like a granny, but I have the four-month-old, so it's a little tricky. I still got to get up do some shit. Um, with that being said, we was talking about charging your work. Do not feel bad to charge what you are worth. These women spent $500 on hair. With that being said, this is a problem that black people have, and I'm only solely telling you this as an example and not to tell you what I do. So there's this pop-up. A woman has a pop-up, and she's my friend. So all of the vendors at the pop-up, at this point, I got money. Not a lot, lot, but I got enough money that I feel like I'm an Aquarius I want to share. So it's a pop-up. We got like, what, maybe 20, 20 vendors, people who sell unvegan food, lipstick. I don't give a fuck. I'm spending money. So I go to every fucking vendor and every fucking one of them was like, this 15, but I'm going to give it to you for 10. And it broke my heart. It broke my heart to think that we as black, you will never see a white person do that. Unless it's like a salesman and that's what he do. But if there's a, a market and it's just white vendors, you will never see them say that. But almost every vendor I went to, 
I have to tell one girl, I said, I'm going to beat your ass out of here, bitch. You know, I was playing with her. I said, but if you don't give me this motherfucker for the 40 I'm trying to give you, I don't want a discount. Normalize not asking for discounts because they don't deserve to shortchange themselves for the lack of what you're doing in your life. Normalize not asking for discounts because they don't deserve to shortchange themselves for the lack of what you're doing in your life. That's what Magical said. Now, it's one thing if you can't afford it. Then you come back at another time. But if it's for you, you're going to be able to get it when it's for you. But sell yourself. We had hoes coming here today. And when I re-looked at the camera, she was pregnant. So I'm not going to go off on her because I don't scream and fuss at pregnant women. But I will say this to young ladies who came up here. Do not come up in my place of love and happiness there and earth with that ratchet shit. Everybody in here was like, y'all was so ratchet. You was disappointed that I wasn't here. So you start acting all snotty. You're looking all at my camera talking about, oh, that's why y'all store all the stuff. Don't do that. Don't play with me like that. Don't play with me. I'm doing God's work. And then you holding child. Don't do that. You need to be very wise of, of what y'all do to people who, who's intentionally serving God. You, you should be afraid of that. Don't come in here with all that wild magnolia shit. We don't have none of that. And then you just, you acting like that because you don't see me. And I miss you by all of 10 minutes. But that's what God do. They don't want my day ruined by what you had to give me because y'all doing all that shit. Don't look at my camera trying to see what the fuck we doing in the back. That, that, none of that was cool, man. And I, I'm glad I didn't share space and time. Don't come in here acting like that. But anyway, bro. All right. So I'm going to holler at y'all. I know that this live reach was supposed to do give you niggas motivations. I don't give a fuck. If you have to go to Whole Foods and buy a bouquet of roses and stand on the corner and sell them bitches for $5 a pop. A nigga, he just got in touch with his hoe. He's talking about who gonna want to buy $5 roses when they got a bunch? He just got in touch with his hoe. Okay? Right? And he like, oh, they got a bitch on the corner selling roses. He gonna put them $5 and get that rose. They just had an old sugar daddy looking to get some of that young pussy. He want two roses, bitch, and your number. Come on, man. Think of all the things that you can do to capitalize to where you need to get. No excuses. You don't... Every black woman I know know how to clean houses. Make you some cars. They're not expensive. What experience you have, make it the fuck up. Everything is intention. So you going to be wrong for lying? No, you're not wrong for surviving. What experience you got? Well, I've been a nigga slave in my mama house for about 25 years, bitch. I had to clean the baseboards in the bathrooms. I had to watch all my siblings while I was doing it and take the chicken out and not forget or I get my ass beat. Yeah, bitch. That's a whole lot to do. And you could clean this lady house. And most of the time, she going to give you instruction on what if you, if you did a job, she going to say, uh, and then you ask her. Always want, when you first start a business, let me give y'all a good business if I'm coming. When you first start a business, ask somebody how you like this, especially on your grand opening. Black people don't want no, they, oh, she's just hating. Bitch, she's trying to keep it real and trying to keep your doors open. When you have a grand opening, ask your friend, ask the customers, ask the nigga who was looking out the window. Be like, how it was, I want the truth. Don't hurt, I hurt my feelings, tell me how it was. All right, son, you could have been better prepared. You could have had your price menu up. You know what I'm saying? You could have you could have had your machine working. So when you finish a house, you not you don't really do this work, right? So you just going off your basic grandma cleaning. You finish the house. Please, you know, if you like to walk through with me, if you see anything that you would like for me to do, please let me know. You know, I'm here to accommodate you. That spirit alone is gonna get you far. So you always wanna take critique. And it isn't critique, I don't even know why we call that. It's growing advice. Because if I hire somebody right now to say, oh, come in here, what can I do better? They're not critiquing me. They're going to give me more money. Because they're showing me where I can make more money. Find out what you're good at. And even if that isn't your sole mission, do it now to get where you have to go. And God's going to fuck with you. Every home birth that I have, and I'm coming to my last sentence. Some of these women are scared. I say, let me tell you something. God honors you right now for bringing in a spirit natural like this nothing's gonna go wrong god in heaven is smiling the ancestors deep in this bitch you are being honored for the way you are bringing one of they fucking gods through you have nothing to fear 
the late last lady, she wasn't even from here. She come all the way from Belize for me to deliver her baby. She said the social worker was helping her get the birth certificate because she had to get one to get a passport. She said people was get randomly giving her clothes. She was catching lifts and the people was like, oh, you need this? But I said, God honored you. You had enough strength. You didn't think, I'm a Ford. I'm from Belize. I'm in a new country. You said, man, I got to get this baby delivered. And she came down here for this baby to deliver. Because she had to honor that child and honor God. And in turn, everything shined upon her. Just like it did when I had Harmony the right way. Poor girl didn't have nothing, no knowledge of nothing. And just trusted me and God. Okay, my baby need a mama. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> okay. 